You hear that? You hear the birds? You hear them? They're like saying good morning. Oh my. It's starting to drizzle. I just walked out here to make this video. And I want to be among the sound of birds chirping. <sighs> Appreciate the little things. Yeah, it's about to rain, so this is not going to be a long video. It just started drizzling right after I came outside. Anyway, good morning. It's Saturday. Today is the 21st of March, 2020. And it is now almost 9 a.m. I was looking at some of my old videos this morning, wee hours of the morning, and just really wanting to hone in on the need to appreciate the little things in life. I know the world is focusing on what's going on with the coronavirus, COVID-19. Everyone is talking about it. It's in the news. Everywhere you look, I took my COVID-19. And I'm not saying we should ignore that. We should, you know, be precautious and be careful, be wise. But don't forget to count your blessings. Don't forget to be thankful. Always stay in a mindset of thankfulness and gratitude. I love that. Nobody will understand that. If you're not a if you're not a person who enjoys those nature sounds, you will never understand a person like me who can just sit here and just listen to the birds chirping. I've actually said that to people, you know, told them that I enjoy the sounds of uh, birds chirping. And I had one person say to me, that gets on my nerves. And I'm like, how can I get on your nerves? For me, it's one of the most soothing sounds ever. Anyway, um, yeah, make it a good day. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know one thing. It's not time for me to die. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Period. COVID-19, come what may, it will not come nigh my dwelling. It will not be in this house. Because as for me and my house, this is, it. this is my mama's house. But as for us, this is her mindset. So I'm going to say it too. <laughs> as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. And we know we have certain covenant rights when we serve the Lord, one of which is protection. There's wisdom. So walk in wisdom. You know that I made a mention of this uh, last week in my video about the six foot rule, minimum six foot rule. I didn't mention that for the purpose of saying you have to live that way. I'm not saying that. You let the Lord lead you. You know, some people are not comfortable with touching others in this season because they're focusing more on what the virus can do. And I mean, I can't tell anybody how to believe, but I know I'm a believer. That's what a Christian is, a believer, or believers. And as a believer, while I'm walking in wisdom, I'm not going to walk in fear. While I'm not going to go around just shaking everybody's hand randomly, you know, if somebody, a sister or brother in Christ comes to hug me or embrace me, I'm not going to cringe. I'm going to hug them back. You know, I don't want to be the one offending someone. If a person's faith is not at that point where they can hug me, I don't want to offend them by trying to hug them. But if they want to hug me, I'm welcome. Now, that's me. I can't tell you how to live. You you live according to your own personal conviction and where your faith is. But um, God's allowing this, you know. So let's not walk in fear. Let's not be um, focusing on the wrong things. Let's, sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to fix my little self here. Let's not focus on the wrong things here. She's yelling at her dogs, okay. I was trying to understand the noise. She's talking to her dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry about the background noise. But, um, you know, you have to live by your conviction and just trust God to take care of you. Love, your, love on your family. Love God. Love people. And yes, I'm repeating the same thing I say in my other videos. Yes, I am. We need to hear it again. Love God and love people. That's what we're supposed to do as Christians. Um, I don't know what tomorrow has in store, but I know one thing. Like I said earlier in this video, it is not my time to die. There are too many uh, promises that God has made that have not manifested. There are too many things that God wants to do in my life. And because they have not manifested, it ain't time to die. 
And if there are too many things that God wants me to do that have not taken place. So like I said, many times we die. And you know what? The Bible says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. Be careful of your confessions. Be careful what you speak. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And then death and life is in this mouth right here. There's death and life in here. So I'm going to speak death to the coronavirus. I'm going to speak death to fear. I'm going to speak death to everything that comes against the plan and purpose and will and strength and power and might of God and the focus that we're supposed to have as Christians. I'll speak death to that. How about that? Anywho. Yeah. <sighs> Enjoy the simple things in life. Um, and you will not go stir crazy. You will not lose your mind. You will not lose it. You will not have random outbursts of anger and fits of rage and fear. And you, you will not live like that. You will not live like that. Trust and believe that even though this looks like it's out of control, God is very much in control. And when God allows something like this to happen, you know what it means for us in the church? You know what it means. We need to humble ourselves, pray, seek his face, turn from all of our wicked ways. That's what we need to do. We need to be about prayer and consecration and fasting, seeking God, reading his word, confessing his word, obeying his instructions. That's the lifestyle we're supposed to live. But since this nation has turned away from that, this is a clarion call to come on back. So let's come on back. All right. Motion sensor light just came on. Anywho, yes, I'm looking all natural today. Looking all natural. This is the way God made me. This is the way God made me. And y'all, that other hairstyle, it was, I won't say it was fun while it lasted. It was different while it lasted. I tried it, you know, and it was getting on my last <laughs> My LBN, you know, Julia says LBN. <laughs> Not my LBN. She'd actually say the word. I'm going to say my LBN. So it had to come out the other day. This past few, few days ago, I took it out. But, um, yeah, just enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. And you know what? Don't sleep on God opportunities. God's going to give you some wisdom and insight in this season. He's going to give you instruction. Don't procrastinate. That's a cousin to doubt and fear and unbelief. When God moves on you and tells you to do something, you better jump on it, honey. Because that window of opportunity is not guaranteed to stay open or to come back around again. And we don't want to have regret of missing the opportunities that God has for us. So, I love you. Have a great day. Know that God loves you. Know that God is concerned about you. Know that God did not give you a spirit of fear. He's given you power, love, and a sound mind. Use the power that's in your mouth. Walk in love one toward another. And know that you have a sound mind. Know that the memory of the just is blessed. Know that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it to the day of Jesus Christ. Know that. Confess it. Believe it. And when the enemy comes with doubt and fear, and unbelief, and what ifs, and paranoia, when he, when he, because he's going to try it, when he comes with that, you, you rebuke him immediately, you cast down every imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, you know, we don't alter God's power and potency of his power when we doubt him, what we do is prevent ourselves from receiving the fullness of the strength of his power operating in our lives when we have the wrong perspective and the wrong confession. So if you've made wrong confessions, and I know I've done it, repent, ask the Lord to forgive you, and get back on uh, on track where you're supposed to be. Okay. COVID-19, I speak death to you. I speak death to you. And I decree and declare protection, peace, and prosperity over the body of Christ at large and our loved ones. In Jesus' name, this is my declaration today for you and every day for us. Amen. Bye-bye. <gasps> y'all see that? Can y'all see my breath? Child. It's on the other side of the camera. I see my breath, child. It feels good out here, but I see my breath, y'all. Is it that kind of day? Goop, goop, goop. All right, now I'm ending the video for real. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>